welcome today's topic is about interference and air wedge experiment so in order to understand the interference on air wedge experiment we need to revise the basics of light and optics the first phenomena is about the reflection of light which shows that when the light ray is incident upon the smooth and well polished surface the light bounces back or it reflects back consider a polished mirror and when the light ray falls upon the polished mirror at an angle theta i the light ray reflects back or it bounces back at an angle theta r so based on the reflection of light the angle of reflection that is theta r is equal to the angle of incidence that is theta i reflection of light is one of the basic phenomena which we can observe in our daily life so the picture one shows the reflection of light by water and picture sh two shows the reflection of light by the mirror the second basic phenomena of light is refraction which defines the bending of light when the light ray passes from one medium to another medium consider a case where we have two medium that is air medium and glass medium so refractive index of air is given as n1 and consider refractive index of glass as n2 when the light ray is incident upon the glass medium at an angle theta 1 due to the change in medium from air medium to glass medium or the rare medium to denser medium the incident light bends with a new angle that is theta 2 and results in refraction of light consider a a water tumbler filled with water and highly transparent so immerse one pencil inside the water and one one can obs observe the refraction of light being taking place because at the interface between the air and water we have the change in medium that is from rarer to denser medium that results in refraction of light so according to Snell's law we have n1 sin theta 1 is equal to n2 sin theta 2 where n1 and n2 or the refractive index of rare medium and denser medium and theta 1 and theta 2 is the angle of incidence and angle of refraction respectively so the third phenomena of light is diffraction which is again the bending of light however it does not relates with the change in medium rather it denotes that when the light ray passes through the corners of any apertures or any obstacle that results in diffraction of light consider an aperture uh, consider a small aperture and when the light rays falls upon the aperture the light gets diffracted from the aperture as shown in the figure and that results in diffraction pattern which has the maxima or at the central position and the intensity decreases for the second order and third order diffraction respectively so let's consider a grating which has n number of lines so when the laser light is made to fall upon the grating because of the small apertures the instant light gets diffracted as shown in the figure and picture 2 shows the diffraction of sunlight because of the presence of clouds here the gap between the two clouds results acts as an aperture and that results in diffraction of sunlight the fourth phenomena of light is interference this concept is based on the superposition of two waves and it has two types that is constructive and destructive interference again once again consider the slit which has two apertures and when the light is made to fall upon the aperture the light gets diffracted from each of the apertures and the pattern has been shown over here and this resulted resultant diffracted light rays when it's superimposed together that results in the interference pattern which includes the alternate bright and dark fringes respectively so we have constructive interference or that results in the brighter fringe that results because of the when the condition satisfy like when the crest of one wave meets the crest of the other wave the resultant wave will have higher amplitude of light intensity and that results in brighter fringe 
and uh, for this condition the light wave have same displacement and will be in phase the other the other category is destructive interference when the crest of one wave meets the trough of other wave and that results in minimized amplitude of light intensity and in such condition it results in dark fringe and in this case the displacement and phase are out of phase and will not be seen so the picture shows the interference pattern which has been seen through the microscope and the interference pattern of light through a soap bubbles So based on the understanding of interference pattern let us perform a small experiment that is called air wedge experiment for this we will consider a thin wire which is placed between glass light number 1 and glass light number 2 this is the side view of the wedge with thin wire and this is the top view of the wedge with the thin wire now the question here is is it possible to measure the thickness of the thin transparent sheet or the thin transparent wire which is placed between the two glass slides of course the answer is no if it is seen through naked eye however it is possible by a simple physics concept that is based on the interference concept let us uh, analyze what's happening over here let us zoom this portion and the geometrical pattern or the schematic representation of this setup is been shown over here we have thin wire which is placed between the two glass slides and the light from air medium travels towards the glass one and at this juncture there is a change in medium from air medium to glass one that is glass medium so automatically at this interface based on our, our previous understanding what we have discussed in the previous slides the light refracts or the light bends and at this juncture that is bottom of the glass one a part of the light reflects and at the same time a part of light refracts once again because of the change in medium so at the top of the glass two the light gets reflects back and once again there's a change in medium from air medium to glass medium and that results in refraction of light as a result we have finally two light rays coming out as an output so first ray is coming out from the topper top glass one and second ray is coming out from glass two now the superposition of this two rays that is blue rays and the red red one that results in the interference pattern this is the photograph of the experimental setup we have the wedge with the, which which the th consist of the thin wire and we have the source of the light that is a light source sodium vapor lamp of 5983 angstrom and this this is what the schematic representation what's happening here and that results in interference pattern now let us draw the same same diagram schematically we have the two glass plates and in between we have the thin wire placed in between we have mn and op is two glass plates and we have light source sodium vapor lamp 5983 angstrom and we have lens l and we have glass plate which is inclined at 45 degree and above which we have the tavel microscope through which we will be visualizing the interference pattern being formed light from source s that travels towards the lens l and falls upon the glass plate which is inclined at 45 degree so so at this position the light gets reflex towards the uh, mn and op transparent glass plates and as a result we have two output light rays coming out from mn and op respectively and that will be visualized through the microscope through our naked eye and the superposition of this two rays results in the interference pattern 
here the objective of this experiment is we are going to find out the fringe width that is beta value in between the two fringes the value will be determined by the microscope and which helps us to find out the thickness of the thin wire so this is the interference pattern being formed because of this schematic arrangement and let us zoom this one particular portion and we will draw the geometrical pattern over here we have alternate we have alternate bright fringe and dark fringe respectively let us label that one as AX, CY and EZ for the dark fringe beta represents the distance between the two dark fringe and T1, T2 and T3 represents the thickness of the air wedge at portion AX, CY and EZ so in general the dark fringe AX appears when the following condition is satisfied that is 2 mu T cos R is equal to M lambda where mu is the refractive index T is the thickness of the wedge and cos R is actually the refraction angle M is the order and lambda is the wavelength of the light so here in this equation if the cos the value of R is very very small so the cos of the value we can consider it as 1 so let us consider this cos R as 1 so we have 2 mu T into 1 is equal to M lambda so at T1 that is for AX fringe that is for uh, the first fringe with the thickness of the wedge as T1 we can rewrite this equation as 2 mu T1 is equal to M lambda similarly at T2 that is for the wedge C CY we can rewrite this equation number 2 as 2 mu T 2 is equal to M plus 1 lambda that is for the next fringe let us subtract equation number 3 and equation 4 that is we will get 2 mu t2 minus t1 is equal to lambda because m lambda m lambda gets cancels out so from figure 2 we have from this figure geometry of the fringe we have cy that is t2 and we have ax that is t1 so we need to find out the T2 minus T1 that is CY minus AX that gives gives us the value B and C hence we will substitute this relation in the previous equation we have 2 mu and we, instead of T2 minus T1 we will substitute BC is equal to lambda or BC is equal to lambda by 2 mu let us consider this as equation number 5 now consider the triangle C, A and B and we will find out the tan theta relation that is opposite side by adjacent side. So here the opposite side is BC and the adjacent side is AB or we have BC is equal to tan theta AB. So one can see from the figure the distance that is between the two dark fringe that is AB will be given as the value beta. So instead of AB we can rewrite this equation as in terms of beta now let us compare this equation and the previous equation that is BC is equal to lambda by 2 mu we'll compare this two equation and we will have lambda by 2 mu is equal to tan theta into instead of a B I will write out the fringe width as beta value over here or we have beta that is equal to lambda by 2 mu tan theta once again we have theta value that is very very small we can write the equation tan theta as theta finally we have beta is equal to lambda by 2 mu theta now in the wedge setup we can see here that is uh, in the previous line we have shown mn and op and the angle between the mn and op is theta and the diameter of the thin wire is d small d which is kept after the distance of small l now for this geometry the theta value will be given as d by l substitute this relation that is theta is equal to d by l in this equation and we will have the final equation that is beta is equal to lambda by 2 mu into d by l or we can rewrite this equation as fringe width that is beta is equal to lambda l by 2 mu small d where 
the small d represents the thickness of the thin wire which is placed in between the glass plates m n and op and the beta value we are calculating i mean the distance between the one fringe dark fringe we are calculating from the microscope reading once we find out the beta value from the microscope reading we will substitute in this relation and finally we will have the we can determine the thickness of thin wire small d from the equation number 7 hope you all enjoyed this uh, session thank you so much for your kind attention